Okay, uh, so we can just go ahead and begin here. I think once people start filtering in, they'll see that they can get themselves covered pretty quickly. Um, just to introduce myself, my name is Andrew. I am the Digital Solutions Manager of Media Services. Uh, I've been at Media Services for a little over four years now. I actually began in the software support department uh, and then went ahead and took over a few projects with the client portal, which I'm about to show you being one of them. Uh, one of our goals and our missions at Media Services is to try to give you uh, as many options as possible to deliver your payroll securely and efficiently to us. Uh, so. With that being said, um, I'd like to take a moment to introduce you to the client portal. As we go through this, keep in mind you may have heard of other softwares that we have uh, that we currently offer. We have our mobile time cards, we have Tim. Um, our client portal is for those individuals who still really would like to use paper time cards and scan in their PDFs. Uh, we wanted to give you a secure way for us to retrieve them and receive them. So that's what we're going to go through. Uh, today we're going to look at the files upload as well as how you can receive your invoices through our client portal. There's a few natural breakpoints that I will stop at during this. Uh, so if you would like, go ahead and uh, raise your questions to me. When I hit those breakpoints, I will make it clear. I'll stop for just a moment, take a look at what's come in. Um, just know that we have all of your contact information as well since you've signed up for this webinar. So if I don't get to your questions during uh, this time that's been allotted, I will make sure that we reach out to you and get those answered. So with that being said, let me go ahead and just take you to our client portal. Now, for all intents and purposes, the client portal is you're going to be your first point of contact with us at Media Services. We call this our client portal because this is actually where you can submit your service schedule uh, so that way we can actually begin setting up your show. We're not going to be going through this during this webinar, but just understand that production setup is usually your first point of contact with us at Media Services. Secondly, we have this agreements icon, and that's where we'll send you digital versions of your payroll service agreements, your software agreements, just so that way you have a place to keep them all contained within the single portal. Uh, once your show has been set up in full, uh, we'll actually begin uh, being able to transmit invoices and files back and forth between you and your payroll coordinator. That's what we're going to go through today, uh, and that's actually going to be this third button here. So when we come into this third button, uh, don't worry, we're going to go through all these tabs in a moment. The first place that I kind of want to focus on is user security. Because the client portal itself uh, is really meant to provide you a secure way to transmit your sensitive information, we also want to make sure that you as the administrator have the ability to decide, number one, who has access to those files as they're being uh, submitted through the run of show, and number two, what level of access those individuals have. So I like to start with this user security tab. Um, I myself is set up, I'm set up as a show admin. And what that means is uh, typically the show admin is the individual who submits our service schedule to media services. So they're the one that initiates the payroll process in the very beginning. So they're usually the first person that we add to this client portal. If we take a look over on the right hand side, you'll actually see a number of permissions that we have set up as well. Uh, the client portal itself is broken into two spaces. It's for file uploads, and when I say file, I mean your PDF documents. This might be your start paperwork. These might be your time cards. Uh, this might be any other sort of sensitive documentation. And it's also broken into your invoices, so that way you'll be able to speak back and forth to the edits until you receive your final version of your invoice. We've actually broken down our permissions uh, to a very granular level. So if, for example, you have one individual that you only want them to be able to upload documents, uh, but they do not have access to download those documents or view or send messages or communicate to your coordinator in any way, you can actually control those permissions here on the right-hand side. Now, with that being said, uh, I am showing you what we would call a feature setup. 
So in that regard, your production is not typically broken down into individual jobs or episodes. Um, at the end, I can show you very briefly what a commercial or a job episode setup looks like, but rest assured that not only can you provide show admin access, which has access to everything, uh, you can actually provide these same permissions on a job-by-job -job basis. So if you want your department heads to oversee their own jobs and turn in their own start paperwork and manage their own invoices, uh, you as the show admin, uh, you know, bandwidth permitting, can actually go ahead and manage those permissions as well. So just understand there's a lot of flexibility to what we're about to see here. Um, this is one of those natural breakpoints that I was speaking to, so I'm just going to take a moment to see if there's any questions and answer those if I can. So there is a, a question here about uh, whether or not this can be used for residuals processing, uh, for receipts of invoices. Um, at this time, this can really be used in any way to communicate back and forth to your coordinator. Uh, with residuals, because it's a little bit larger of a project, that's actually something new that's coming. Um, it's still in the works. It's still something that we're working through. So at this time, this is really uh, designed mostly for initial pay. Just rest assured that it is something that we have looked at and we've, we're going to continue to look at. So the first tab that I want to begin with is actually the files tab. Uh, now the files tab is important because this is really what begins your payroll process. This is where you're going to be typically sending over your start paperwork, your time cards, uh, any sort of reporting that needs to go back and forth. I've gone ahead and already pre-populated a, a couple of files here, but let's go ahead and just begin with what uploading a file actually looks like. When we click this upload files icon here, you're actually taken to a navigator for your computer. Um, what we're going to do is we're gonna zip all those files together and send them in one nice package to your payroll coordinator. So what I can do is I can just name this something like weekending 0425, and when I click select files, it will actually take me to my documentation that I hope to upload. Now, uh, similar to functionality in many of your other uh, programs that you use, holding the control button will allow you to select multiple different files. Uh, holding the shift button will allow you to select a run of files. Once they're uploaded, you'll see that they turn green. And then this is where the client portal becomes very useful, both on the production side as well as for the payroll coordinators. We actually have the ability to add a message within here as well. Uh, we wanted to provide a place for you that it makes sense that you can stay here throughout the day and actually communicate about the files that you are sending back and forth to your payroll coordinator. So I can place a subject here that just says time cards for this week and thank you so much. When I go ahead and click send, what it's going to do is it's gonna wrap up all of those files that I've just uploaded, and it actually sends an email to your payroll coordinator saying, hey, these files have been received through the portal. Now, you'll see over on the right-hand side, there's this empty space. However, if we go ahead and click this little carrot icon, we can actually begin to see the beginnings of a dialogue that's happening between you and your payroll coordinator. The reason this is important is because we wanted to mimic what we're comfortable with in uh, programs like Outlook, Gmail, Yahoo. So that way you can actually get a full email audit of the information that you're uh, transmitting back and forth to each other. So you'll actually see if I come down here to my next file, um, not only do I have my original message, I can click this view entire conversation icon and you'll actually be able to see all of the conversations in kind of an email format. When I click export as PDF, it will actually do just that. It will open it up in my Adobe Reader or any other reader that you have on your computer, so that way you can save and store this for your own personal files. Uh, as far as the file limitations are concerned, um, the only thing we really don't allow is malicious software files. So you can transmit 
Word documents, Excel documents, PDFs, Showbiz files. Um, you have the ability to transmit all of these different types of files to your payroll coordinator. Now, before I move to the invoices section, again, this is just one of those natural breakpoints. So allow me to go ahead and just field some of the questions that are coming through. Uh, there's a question of does start paperwork get downloaded here? Uh, there's a couple questions about people who are TIM users. I don't want to focus too much on the functions of TIM, uh, but for those of you who are not familiar, we do have a digital offering called TIM. Uh, this is called Time is Money. And what that is, is that's a digital onboarding platform, so a way to uh, create start paperwork for your crew. Um, for those of you who are using TIM, no, you would not need to put your TIM files into this client portal. Uh, one of the things that I like to tell people when I'm working with them is that, you know, we, we at Media Services want you to use the tools that best fit your production. So there's an opportunity to kind of mix and match and, and allow us to help put you on the software that is most successful. Uh, so for a software like Tim, for example, those PDFs are emailed directly to your client. Uh, I'm sorry, directly to your payroll coordinator, so they do not need to come through the client portal. Uh, that would be the same with our mobile time card software as well. Because the time cards are being transmitted directly to your payroll coordinator, you do not need to come back into the client portal to manage those time cards in any way. Uh, so there is a question of how do we input starts um, this client portal, uh, this file section that we're looking at specifically, if you wanted to use, utilize the client portal, what we would suggest doing is that you would take those paper start paperworks that you've received, you would scan those, and you would send that digital PDF version over to your payroll coordinator. Uh, it's important to note that this client portal has end-to-end -end security on it that is supported by Amazon. And that's one of the big reasons that we built this portal is because when you are transmitting those PDF documents that have social security numbers or residential information or personal information, uh, we want to give you a tool that can help you feel comfortable that this space is secure. Now, with that being said, uh, if you just want to have normal conversations through your Outlook or through your email, please by all, by all means do so. Just understand that uh, we will always encourage you to get comfortable with the client portal so that way you have the peace of mind of knowing that all of your documents are secure. With that being said, uh, we can actually kind of move over to the invoices tab. Now, We've gone through files first because you've sent your start paperwork to your payroll coordinator, you've sent your time cards to the payroll coordinator, and now they've been processed and the payroll coordinator wants to send you their first edit. Here in the invoices tab is actually where all of those edits will start to be received. And so I've made a number of edits for you to take a look at here. Uh, for those of you who have worked with media services in the past, um, this, this process has changed a little bit. Uh, in our very first version, when an accountant would receive the edit invoice, it would actually be a PDF document in a regular email that just went directly to your Gmail, to your Outlook. Uh, of course, there was a password protection on that PDF, but that's really not secure in today's day and age. So the second reason that we wanted to move forward with this client portal is we wanted to be able to utilize Amazon security in a way that you can feel comfortable and secure, that you're receiving your invoices in a secure manner. So uh, with that being said, when your estimate is ready to be retrieved in the client portal, you will actually receive an email notification. And that email notification will say, hey, you have a new invoice within the portal. Your payroll coordinator has included a note. Please go ahead and come and log in here. When you log in, this is what you'll see. Now, if I go ahead and click that carrot icon, similar to what we saw in the files tab, we're actually going to be able to see the beginnings of a conversation. So you can actually click on this message 
and you'll actually be able to see those notes that your payroll coordinator has sent to you. Uh, because of the nature of edits, and you may need to potentially go back and forth on these, you'll see that there is an add message button here on the right hand side. So if you need to respond back to your coordinator, you can say, hey, you know what, invoice 002 doesn't look so good. Let's go ahead and add a message so I can respond to this. Looking in this window here, you'll see there's two tabs. There's messages and then there's invoice files. Invoice files is actually where you're going to be able to see all the different versions that have been sent to you. At any point, you can actually click on this hyperlink here and it will open that estimate for you directly on your screen. So that way you can go ahead and start reviewing your estimate. Now you'll notice when I clicked on this PDF document, uh, it did not ask me for a password. We have already gone through the user security tab and that's where you're going to manage who does and does not have access to these invoice files. And that's really important because we want to encourage you to work within the client portal. So as kind of an added value, uh, any invoice that you download from this client portal will not have that password uh, attached to it. So at this point, you can just click, it will open up your PDF, you can save it to your desktop, and then whatever happens outside of the portal, that's up to, uh, that's up to your discretion. Now you'll see here, uh, there is a status, so you can actually see whether or not your invoice has been finalized, which we would just call your final edit. Uh, this one here, in fact, is finalized. So if I click this little carrot, uh, not only can I see any unread messages that just says, here is the final copy, thank you so much. Uh, when I come into the invoice files tab, for those of you who use MediaWeb or production accounting software, you will also find the med file as well. So we will send you both the final version of the invoice as well as your med files so you can then download and retrieve that med file and then upload those payroll costs into the production accounting software. Uh, again, this is just kind of a nice natural break point, so I'll take a moment to read the questions uh, and we'll move forward. There's a, there's a question that just says, where did you click on the message? Um, I know my remote internet connection can be a little choppy. Uh, you can actually see over on the left-hand side here that there is a little carrot icon. It's actually in the files tab as well. Um, but what this will do is actually expand. And then you can click on any of these messages to view just that message or you can click view entire conversation to actually see that entire comment string between you and your payroll coordinator. Uh, there is a question about med files. Uh, yes, med files can also be retrieved through the client portal. Uh, the med file itself can go ahead and be downloaded. And for those of you who are not familiar with a med file, um, these are just the labor costs uh, it's a file that is used to be uploaded into our production accounting software, uh, so that way you can track those labor costs. As far as the client portal is concerned, um, this does cover much of the functionality that we were hoping to achieve. Uh, for those of you who, uh, you know, might need a little bit more in depth or, or just uh, some how-to reminders, we do try to place tool tips as much as we can throughout the software. Uh, we do also have a how-to tab that we have built, including a FAQ tab um, where, you know, for the sake of this webinar, I'll tell you if you actually want to give me feedback, uh, it is the last drop down in the FAQ. I don't normally tell that to everybody, but uh, thank you for your time this morning, and I'll let you know that that's there. One of the things about the client portal that I'd, I'd just like to really drive home, um, this is about security, and we want to make sure that you have the tools that are available to you that make the most sense for your production. Um, at any point, if you need any sort of training, uh, our software support 
group can do a training for you. Our clients, uh, client services group can do a training for you. Um, there's a number of people that can just get on the line and help you start receiving your invoices. Now, uh, I did promise to take a few minutes to show you what a commercial or a, a job episode looks like. So let me go ahead and pull up my commercial demonstration that I've created. And you'll see it actually looks very similar. Um, the files tab, the invoices tab, the user security tab, they all look the same uh, with what we've already kind of gone through. But you'll see you actually have the ability to create jobs or episodes on the fly as well. So if I were to go ahead and come in here and add a job episode, um, I can actually create that episode code. Once I create that episode code, I can actually begin assigning permissions to those episodes. So for example, let's say I need to add someone to episode three. Uh, and when I click add user here, this is just for, you know, Jack Flash and Jack Flash at demo.com. But I only want Jack Flash to worry about this one specific job. If I make Jack a job admin, Jack is only going to have the permissions to be able to work within that specific job. When Jack comes into the files tab or when Jack comes into the invoices tab, uh, Jack will only have access to manage this job. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that Jack can't see all of the other jobs. Uh, however, Jack is going to have no ability to actually manage or download or retrieve anyone else's files. With that being said, uh, I did promise you 30 minutes and I think we kept it to that. Um, so what I can do is I can wait here just for another minute or two uh, just to see if any other questions come in regarding the client portal. Some of you have gone ahead and, and asked other questions that are, you know, um, a little bit more in depth. So like I said, I'm going to review all these questions and I will make sure either myself or the best equipped person will actually reach out to you to answer those questions as well. Uh, yes, regarding pay stubs, the job episode does appear on the pay stub as well. Uh, there are a few questions here about setting up an account in the portal for the very first time. Um, and, and I think that's an important question to answer. Uh, because the client portal is kind of your way into media services, we cannot actually begin processing payroll until we've gone through the show setup process with you. Uh, that's to make sure that we've received certificates of insurance, we've signed all of the appropriate agreements. Um, what you can do is when you reach out to us at Media Services, we'll go ahead and connect you with one of our customer service reps. We'll just kind of make sure that your production is set up properly and is best equipped, you know, to do payroll with us. And then we'll actually send you uh, an invitation to this client portal. Now, once you take that invitation to the client portal, you'll click the register button at our login page and you will land exactly with what we're seeing here. Um, I don't want to go too, too in depth with it, uh, but this production setup is really going to be the first place uh, that you operate with us. We're going to ask you a number of questions and what those questions do is they trigger a number of emails and a number of communications that go on internally at media services when we first set up your show. So we're going to find out whether or not you're doing remote check printing, and we'll make sure that we set you up properly with the production accounting software. We're going to make sure that if you want Tim, we get you in touch with the Tim individuals. If you want mobile time card, you get in touch with people who can train you on that. Uh, so that way we can really make sure that, uh, you know, all of the correct people are reaching out to you all at the same time. There is a question about whether or not uh, this webinar is is being recorded and that answer is yes. So we can make sure that we have that recording. Um, we can go ahead and get that sent out to you as well. How do employees submit time cards electronically? So sure, uh, just to kind of 
you know, get us towards that 30 minute mark. There's a couple of questions about uh, both electronic starts and time curves. Uh, so there's a few ways that we can handle starts, but the one that we really tr are, are proudest of is Tim. Um, it's called Time is Money. And what Tim is, is very similar to your Amazon.com web profile. So uh, your employee would create a profile for themselves. Uh, me as production would create a profile for production. A number of questions are asked, and then there's a marriage between those two sets of information, which ultimately creates a start packet. As for the electronic time cards, we do have a mobile time card software. Uh, and very kind of similar to what you're seeing here in the client portal, there's an administration page uh, where you can actually see a list of all of your individuals who have completed start paperwork. You will send your crew invitations, uh, and then the crew member can actually log in themselves, submit their time, and then there's an approval hierarchy that kind of moves forward. Um, we can make sure, because it does look like there's, there's a, a lot of questions about both TIM and mobile time cards, um, we'll make sure that we go ahead and reach out to all of you that are asking for more information. Uh, so that way you can start to see how all the pieces fit together and, and we can have a conversation about the best tools that would be used on your production. Uh, there is just one final question and I, I do think it's important. Um, there was a question about whether or not there is going to be a webinar on the production setup tab. Um, there could be. There could be. Uh, we're going to go back and take a look and see some of the questions. Um, I think what's important to know is that the production setup is really just geared towards that first individual who is authorized to begin payroll with media services. Uh, so we ask questions about, uh, you know, the size of your budget, the number of crew, the makeup of your crew. Uh, what sorts of softwares you want to use. Uh, so we, we, we could take a look at that uh, later down the line, but we do want to make sure that the correct individuals are in there as it's usually someone who's authorized to begin the payroll process with media. Thank you all very much for your time. Uh, please stay safe and stay in good spirits. And I hope to speak to you all soon. Take care.